Hey, so you're just getting started with your Vitamix and that's awesome. I gotta tell you a few things, a few mistakes that new Vitamix owners, beginners make all the time. Don't make these, okay? First of all, you might think that your machine is defective. 99.5% of these machines uh, don't get sent in for service. So one half of 1% of these machines ever get uh, uh, warranty claims. So your machine's probably not defective. Chances are you need to add a little more liquid. So respect the ratio. So half liquid, half solid or loading order. So make sure that you add liquid ingredients first, uh, fleshy fruits, greens in the middle, and then frozen stuff, ice, frozen fruit last. Also, don't be afraid of your Vitamix. It's a powerful machine, use it on high speed. It's meant to be used on high speed. It fires the fan and it's gonna actually make it work better. And also don't be afraid of the tamper, getting in there with the tamper, pushing those ingredients down into the blade. It's made to do that and the tamper will never touch the blade. Also, I know you're really excited and you probably got a Vitamix to make all the things. Smoothies, juices, nut butters, hummus, ice cream, hot soup, flours, batters, chopping, all the things. You're gonna have this thing for a lot of years. Go slowly. Oh, don't put it away. Keep it on the counter. It's gonna be your reminder that it, it needs to be used. Feed it, put things in it and use it as a tool to achieve your goals and to get better. Leave it on the counter. Okay, last one. If you fail, if you make a brown smoothie, if you can't figure out how to make nut butters, if your soup is not as hot as you expect it to be, if you don't use it as much as you had hoped, if you fail, it doesn't mean that you are a failure. Definitely subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. If you appreciate this video, if it was helpful, thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.